Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, today, <coughs> I will be talking about the topic is um, TCM dietetic. So uh, everything, uh, we have to be know a little bit the background and the history. So uh, for the dietetic thing, <coughs> uh, in the Chinese medicine, uh, that is uh, had long history. Uh, the, uh, on the Chinese history, um, I think everybody knows something who uh, like the uh, uh, Qin Dynasty, that will be the, who the king built the Great War. But actually it's before that, uh, it's called Zhou Dynasty. So on that time, <clears throat> already set up uh, in the uh, king system had four kinds of the doctor. So the dietetic doctor is the first important doctor in that system. Why? Because uh, on that time, yes, many people, you know, get sick, and uh, the doctor, the dietetic doctor, uh, serve in the um, policy too. Uh, the duty for them, uh, they need to be uh, make sure, uh, you know, the loyal family had to be uh, healthy. So then another. Three doctors will be like the second one will be just like a, now the physician, uh, like family doctor. Then another one will be related with because at that time it's had many war, so then uh, they need to be make sure <coughs> the soldier, <coughs> uh, you know, get shot after they get injury. So then the last doctor they will be like now the veterinarian, the animal doctor. Because on that time they, you know, had many war. They uh, make sure to keep, you know, the uh, like a horse or something in the uh, walking in the in the war. Uh, oh, I have to do. Uh, <clears throat> oh, not working. <laughs> okay. So the, um, that's what the history. So then uh, on the book, <coughs> on the, um, uh, we on the Tang Dynasty is already had the dietetic book. So uh, for the, I ju just give you the general feeling of the um, dietetic thing. Like uh, in the Western medicine, they, uh, like nutrition, they very uh, research and study uh, in the um, what will be the uh, compound inside the uh, each food. So uh, like uh, you know, can be more than hundred or they have many like mineral or have many nutrition thing. But the TCM dietetic is not uh, study like that way. So mostly we will be. Um, talking about uh, the, you know, the mostly is, is the how to, uh, the nature, uh, how, you know, the human being, um, for the simple things. Uh, we just say like, uh, you know, in the, um, uh, like a human being inside, we have like a weather system. So then, you know, people will be, some will be like, uh, um, very hot, or some will be very cold, some will be uh, very uh, damp, okay, like uh, raining all the time, okay, so then some will be what, very dry. So the main concept uh, in the TCM thing, uh, the dietetic thing, we want to be what? Uh, we will be adjust uh, the body by the dietetic, by the food to be, um, make the body uh, just like uh, nature. So uh, we'll be, if you know, the body will be have too dry or too hot. So we need to be have certain food to be keep the body uh, cool it down or we can be have the body moisture. If you know the body is in balance, so then we'll be what does the sick will be come from. So uh, we really talked about <clears throat> Uh, the main uh, the dietetic uh, preparation 
uh, some will be similar to like uh, uh, Western nutrition. Some will be very special in the uh, diet. For example, like fresh juice, uh, they will be um, both, you know, in the Chinese medicine, we had that. Uh, then in the uh, Western, uh, the modern nutrition, uh, like we, you know, selling many like carrot juice or any kind. So then they just make sure to, they listing all the ingredients inside, for example, like carrot juice. Then they will be say, oh, beta carotene, that will be good for the body. Uh, but uh, in the, uh, uh, you know, the Chinese dietetic, uh, we will be uh, study a little bit different way. We say the fresh juice will be what? It's cooling, okay, and moisturing will be help the body, uh, you know, the, like a dryness. Then another kind, uh, like, uh, you know, the tea, uh, like now I'm drinking, so uh, later on we'll be talk, uh, talking more. So that will be, uh, uh, even though now, uh, the Western study, they will be talking about the tea will be the, uh, you know, very good for the, uh, everybody. Um, so even though they uh, study, say, uh, inside will be have many, many uh, different ingredients. Uh, but then, uh, like I mentioned, uh, in the TCMB study, the tea will be a different way. So we see how, you know, like the major uh, group in the tea one will be like uh, green tea, that will be more like cooling, okay, that's what uh, good for the, who the body will be had heat. So then another tea, that will be what is like a fermented, like a black tea, so that will be a little bit like warming. So that's what the idea, we talk about all the food, <coughs> all the, um, we not really exactly to be learned the, uh, every individual, the ingredient. Uh, that's very complicated. We mostly study and uh, mostly want to be just say the uh, whole, the nature, how to fit the human body. Another example, like um, uh, medicinal alcohol, we call yao jiu. So then we be what we soak, for example, like ginseng. So we soak it in the alcohol. So then what will be the function then? So then the, in the uh, Western study, they will be looking for the very detailed, you know, the ginseng inside will be had something, um, ingredient. But for us, we will be mostly say, okay, ginseng uh, in the TCM system, that will be very warm and very, we call tonified the chi. So then we put it in the alcohol, so then we be what? Then even though make the uh, stronger, so that's what uh, now in the market, uh, I think many companies, they selling, you know, the uh, ginseng uh, extra or alcohol. But they just say, oh, that's be good for your energy or something. But they didn't know, not everybody is uh, good to drink the, those kind of like ginseng alcohol because they will be generation the body had, you know, the, the, the heat. But if some people, they are very had cold uh, the, um, uh, nature in the body, so that will be very good. So then another example, we talk about like uh, um, congee. So we put the rice to cook uh, with the water, so become a congee. So then uh, one of the idea will be easier to, you know, people will be uh, digest easier. But also we will be have mentioned too, that will be uh, good for people who had, you know, the uh, chi deficiency, but also had yin deficiency. One of the example, like children, when they get uh, like a diarrhea, <coughs> they will be dehydration. So then in the uh, Western system, the fast way, uh, you know, the doctor like uh, pediatric, how they do that? They will be put the, like an IV or something. Of course, it will be immediately to have the body, the uh, fluid. But uh, that's expensive. And also, you know, it will be, um, uh, not everybody can do that. But in the um, uh, Chinese dietetic, one of the easy way, we will be put the rice to make like a, uh, congee. That means just say put more water. Then we put a little bit 
um, salt or something. There we be have the body after drink it. There we be have the body the you know the balance the mineral and the you know the body flew at the level. So uh, now I will be talk about another topic. Uh, we will be talks about now the uh, in the dietetic when we eat the food, uh, we need to be uh, match uh, the season. For example, uh, like uh, uh, now, like a spring uh, and it's a summer, so then we be outside is very hot. So then uh, we need to find out some kind of food uh, in the um, TCM nature. Uh, they are cool, okay? So then we be what? To help the, bus, uh, the body to uh, balance out. But um, we um, eat too much cold kind of food in the summertime, that can be also a problem. So that's why in the Huang Di Nei Jing, uh, we had the uh, sentence say, you know, on the spring and the summer, we need to be uh, cultivating the yang because, like uh, for example, people, you know, when summertime they are feel very hot, then they will be drinking a lot the ice cold water or even though the ice, that will be what that will be hurt the body, the yang. So that's what the uh, uh, that sentence, the idea we say on the spring and the summer we need to cultivating the yang. I proceed on the uh, autumn and the winter, so same thing too, on the outside it's very cold, so then we be eat a lot of warming food, uh, for example, like a hot spicy, okay, like a barbecue, those kind of things. Then after that, then we be what, the yin and yang will be out of the balance. So that's what in the Huang Di Li Jing we say, it's said to be nourishing the yin in the uh, autumn and the winter. But just say, anyway, uh, you know, the, all the concepts, we will be, say, the, uh, generally speaking, um, you know, the human being is just like an animal, the human being. So we need to be, what, uh, coordinated with all those kind of, like a four season. So we need to be selected uh, different kind of food, so then on the, uh, then to match uh, that season, so that we be, have the body balanced then we be avoid to be get sick. Another approach, uh, now I think everybody know that, like uh, in the modern uh, dietetic, they talk about uh, people, uh, you know, need to be like uh, eat the salad or vegetable, uh, will be have different color, as many a color as good. Now I will be, uh, take a little bit of time to explain how, you know, the Chinese medicine uh, to be talking about those kind of uh, color because we approach is different uh, uh, category. If you will be using something like a fire element, uh, that kind of uh, idea to be make to how to uh, match the human being. For example, now uh, say like a green kind of the food, so then, um, uh, uh, for example, now just like uh, I drink the green tea, okay, so then in the Chinese medicine is related with the liver. So then um, we say, you know, uh, liver is detoxify uh, all those kind of toxicity in the human body. So um, same thing, if you know the liver uh, is good, uh, the function is um, uh, good, so well-being, so then, you know, the human being will be, uh, it is, the health is good. So then, uh, like we uh, talked about, any kind of green, uh, or even though we just, uh, not necessarily to taking, to we just, we just watch, okay, uh, to, you know, more green, like a, a tree, or like a grass, it still will be a threat to the liver, okay, and still will be, because in the TCM system, we say the liver, what? Also, uh, not only detoxify, it's also related to the eyes too. So that's why we all recommendations say like now we use a computer a lot. So then, you know, once in a while, uh, we need to be uh, look at the outside, you know, the green tree or, you know, the grass or something. That will be help your, you know, the uh, liver. 
Then another color, we talked about the red color. So then uh, I can show you one of the uh, fruit, uh, like the lychee. You see how red, okay? Uh, that will be what? Um, general speaking, we say uh, that will be, you know, something associated with the heart. So now the Western study, they say, oh, okay, so now the uh, red, um, uh, red wine or whatever we talked about, the grape juice, if they are red, is good for your heart, okay? Uh, so, but that kind of idea uh, in the uh, TCM system, we say it's um, a couple thousand years ago, so already said that, okay? So then they uh, talked about, you know, the, um, all the food, if they are very red, it should be more connecting with your heart. Then, um, yellow color. So in the five elements in the TCM, we say it's associated with the spleen and stomach. Okay, so then, um, for example, like now carrot, everybody will be uh, now say, you know, it's good. So every, some people will be drink too much. Right? Then what, what happened then? The skin or, you know, the eyes even will become a drawn that's it's a yellow. Okay, so everybody, I mean, everything should be, you know, is balanced. Not say good, then you'll be, you know, take every day, uh, that's not good. Because in the uh, TSM, you know, the, uh, we say those five different colors, uh, so they eat, you know, for each uh, organ is good, but we need to be, make sure every organ, not only just one organ. Okay, so then uh, one of the, uh, another example, uh, like pumpkin. So then we be what uh, they look like uh, yellow. So that will be uh, it's very good for the spleen and stomach uh, in the TCM system. Another example that will be what the color related with the white. Uh, then the white in the five element is associated with the lung. So then I give you one more example. Now not only just the TCM say that it's all also approved by the uh, Western study too. Like a what like garlic. Okay, so then we build it's white. So then now some people will be make the garlic inside the ingredient to sell in the market, say we be have your uh, immunity. So then uh, in the, <clears throat> we say uh, immunity in the, uh, in the TCM will be what's associated with the lung. It's related, we call, we call Wei Qi, defense Qi. So that will be what I think, you know, later on uh, the, um, modern study and the TCM study, it should be matched together. Then the last color we talked about is the black. <clears throat> so uh, uh, many food, if the color as dark as, you know, we be uh, entering the meridian in the Chinese medicine will be kidney. So then the kidney will be what? They also will be control the bone, control the hair. So then one of the uh, simple and the uh, good food that would be like a black sesame. Okay, that's what many people will be take that uh, for um, help, you know, the hair, but also we be have the brain because in the kidney we say it be associated with the uh, marrow, we be associated with the brain. Okay, uh, now we'll be <coughs> talking about a little bit simple things. We talked about the main uh, starch things, uh, like the rice. Uh, in the uh, dietetic things, uh, in the, um, we say because the colors, why we be associated with the uh, lung. Okay, so then before I uh, um, mentioned already, so then um, uh, the rice, it can be uh, if very uh, how know how to cook that they can be had you know very have um, rich nutrition things uh, will be you know tonify the lung to be have the immunity. Then the wheat uh, in the T cell system we will be also related with the liver. So then one of the I give you one of the example uh, simple dietetic things. So the, uh, we had one uh, formula uh, in the core, um, gan mai da jiao tang, okay, then mai, that will be what's a wheat. So we can pick them as uh, simplified. So you can put the whole wheat, including the shell. Okay, then you can put a little bit roasted. Then <clears throat> you can just uh, put it in like a, we uh, make the, 
you put the hot boiling water, just like a milk tea, then you uh, constantly to drink it as a, like a tea. So then what will be uh, help you then? So one of the kind of, uh, we talked about the tea cell diagnosis, say it's liver tea congestion, or uh, we call dry organ, but it, you know, um, um, we use the Western study, so what will be that then? It's more like uh, menopausal. Then the people will be, uh, you know, uh, feel heart flushes, sweating, uh, you will feel very uncomfortable. So then one of the kind of simple dietetic uh, treatment, so then you can be just drink those kind of uh, whole wheat uh, roaster, whole wheat as like a tea. So that will be, uh, help you uh, a lot. Uh, without any kind of sex. Then. Potato, uh, we talked about uh, one of the kind of um, easy way to be treat the disease. One will be what? We, uh, because potato is, um, uh, after we use it, the uh, uh, juice, make the raw juice, use the machine to squeeze it, to make the juice, then we, we drink it, then what will be happen there? So then we be make the stomach cooling. So then, uh, one of the kind of uh, dietetic method, uh, some people will be had uh, like a, a stomach ulcer or stomach exit too much, but of course we say that is the Western diagnosis. We need to make sure they belong to, we call stomach yin deficiency. So then, uh, we just drink this kind of uh, raw potato juice, might have, you know, uh, the syndromes also be have to, you know, the lining, you know, will be uh, soothing and also might be, will be, um, you know, the, uh, because, you know, the lining is elsa. So like, you know, I give you another example, very simple too. Like, you know, your skin um, is different things. Like the skin had uh, elsa or had uh, the skin uh, had rash feel burning or crack, one of the kind of simple uh, treatment, you can make the raw potato to make juice, okay? Then you put the gosh or something to put on that area. So then you be what? That will be have the symptoms. So uh, um, even though the stomach is see inside, but this same thing had lining, it's like a skin. Okay, we be had the ceramic fat. Now I give you another uh, another uh, example is corn. So the corn will be what I think everybody uh, to be uh, you know everybody know what the, the corn you know in the Western study say is very good for the eyes and uh, uh, had many good nutrition thing. But the uh, corn seal, most people will be uh, you know throw away. Okay. But one of the kind of cheese, uh, Chinese dietetic, you just correct those kind of conceal to boiling, uh, become a uh, soup to drink it. Then what happened there? You have the body, element of the dampness, okay? You have the urination increase, then in order to be, you know, to take out, you know, the toxicity inside the body. The yam, same thing too, we now, many people, you know, in the Western study, they talk about, you know, uh, very good food, okay? But it's different way to study. In the uh, dietetic, in TCM dietetic, we say the, the yam will be what? Uh, that will be, you know, depend on the color too. For example, now we be become a very popular, is the purple yam, okay? So then will be what? Uh, you know, they will be have the body, the bowel movement, and inside will be have many ingredients can be have the arthritis pain too. So then, uh, actually, one of the shan yao we call is the herb, but they actually is kind of uh, like a yam related mountain yam we call that. Okay, so we be have many way to be uh, you know tonify the spleen in the T cell system. Okay, uh, but then. Uh, I think now in the Western society, they find out they have many things, even though they have something like uh, female hormone related. So then we have the people like uh, uh, menopausal, but it's just general good for everybody. So uh, because actually <clears throat> in the um, 
dietetic things, uh, we will be what? Uh, we will be just like a daily basics. Uh, we eat the food, we need to be see what kind of, you know, your body is in balance. Then we will be choose uh, what kind of uh, strong egg fat, that kind of uh, vegetable or fruit or something to be, uh, to help. So now I just give you some example. One of the, um, um, squash we call Ku Gua is bitter melon. So then we'll be what is very, I mean, kind of bitter, but actually that will be have the body, the uh, very cooling. So for example, like uh, sometimes we had, uh, you know, the, we call the fire, okay, uh, in the stomach. So what happened then? So sometimes we will be had like gum uh, swollen and uh, a sore throat. When we eat too much, like uh, now, uh, you know, the fast food, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or is deep oil, you know, deep, uh, deep fry. So then we be gener generating the body had a lot of fire. We call it just a heat. So then we be what that bitter melon. We be what it look like um, certain kind of the, uh, you know very strong medication in the herbal medicine like Huang Lian or Huang Chen those kind of herb. So, but it's without that kind of bad taste. So then we can be using the uh, bitter melon uh, to be cooked with something, uh, then uh, in order to help the body, uh, you know, take out the heat. And also, I think uh, you can see it in the PowerPoint, uh, we have something like, uh, uh, look like uh, the root, that actually, on the first uh, picture, that actually is the, we call Shan Yao is higher the mountain yeah so then we mentioned that before uh, it's very good for the body so now i think it's become a popular so many uh, uh, not mainstream uh, you know the uh, supermarket yet but all those kind of like oriental supermarket will be selling that fresh uh, we call fresh uh, mountain yeah so that will be <coughs> we call will be tonified spring chi so we be help the body uh, you know the energy and have the digestion very much okay and uh, we mentioned before it's kind of yam okay so then uh, every uh, nutrition recognizing uh, that will be what uh, is uh, have good food then another one on the picture we talked about look like uh, kind of green leaf actually uh, I took those pictures in China is in the market okay then you know they are will be uh, just like uh, uh, go to market to buy uh, food every day. So then we be what one or that kind of, uh, if the fruit we call uh, go chi zi or whatever we call wooberry, but that is the leaf. Okay, so then we will be also eat the uh, leaf too. So uh, that's what the picture. So then uh, we call go chi ye. So we be very good for the eyes. Okay, and also we be have the body, the uh, like, uh, you know, uh, anemia, those kind of things. And um, <coughs> I will be especially to mention one of the vegetables uh, <coughs> selling here too in the farmer's market, but it's growing in everybody like a bad yeah, uh, especially like a springtime, it's called purslet. Okay, I think in here, I saw it, they sell it in the farmer's market, but also in the Mexican market too. So then the person we, in the pinyin, we call ma zi xian, uh, how good this uh, herb. So uh, in the herbal system, we say that we be have the, like uh, uh, diarrhea, but uh, I think they are studied by the Western, very good already. They say it can be help to detoxify the body, uh, like now everybody uses the plastic things, uh, we be had one or the kind of chemical things, uh, B, uh, you know what, by uh, phenol, yeah. Uh, one of the chemical thing. Uh, that's what people, you know, like now, you know, in the United States, not only, uh, I think everywhere, because people will be like, uh, uh, use that plastic bottle to, uh, you know, to, as a con content to be, you know, more the food, any kind of food actually now is used mostly plastic thing. Then they can be slowly to be, by, you know, uh, that kind of uh, chemical things. Uh, this somewhat look like female hormone, 
okay? So then we be what people drink too much those things, uh, whatever the water, the bottled water, or especially if the uh, inside has something like an accent, those kind of uh, liquid, then they will be slow, come, you know, melt down to, into that liquid. So then people drink too much those kind of water, you be has something risk to make more like a breast cancer or, you know, the female system cancer. So then that person, actually we can uh, detoxify that. So then, uh, <clears throat> so now uh, we will be, uh, take a little bit of time to be talk about something like the uh, fruit. So every fruit, same thing, to be side the color, we also will be have many different kind of nature. Some will be very hot, okay? If your body is very cold, it's good. But if your body is very, uh, has something fire, we call that. For example, you always feel like a burning or, you know, you feel something like a very hot body. So then some of the fruit will be not good for you. For example, like a li zi, we mentioned that it's tropical fruit. Mango, those kind of things. Or even though the grape, if they are, uh, you know, like uh, uh, red wine. So now we say, oh, you know, uh, red wine is good for, now many people say that, say uh, red wine is good. But it depends on, you. that's what the main uh, idea in the uh, Chinese medicine is, it, if, you know, your body is cold, then the red wine is good. But then if you already have very heat in your body, then you drink the red wine, there will be generation of fire. Then later on you'll be out of the balance. Then what happened there? Then you can be a get sore throat or you later on you might be get, uh, you know, an infection or something. Okay. So now uh, I think you received the picture. You here look like a very, uh, uh, you know, like a, a, a pork fat. <laughs> I don't know why you choose that, but I can say something about that thing. Okay, uh, I, I know everybody know now. You know the pork fat that will be increase your body cholesterol, so it's not good. But actually, you know what? In the Chinese medicine or dietetic things, one of that's called red rice yeast. That's what the mostly now the drug coming to make something the category or the, you know, lower the cholesterol of the body called statin system. Okay? Where they come from? Actually, the original is come from the study of the red rice yeast. <clears throat> then, you know, the idea, they get that because People find out when they eat uh, just the pork fat, like a picture this show, eh? then they will be feel like, uh, you know, congestion and they feel, you know, difficult to digestion. But then later on they find out if you use it, the red yeast kind of sauce, okay, they make like, uh, you know, something like uh, uh, cooked together with this kind of red yeast, uh, but uh, red rice yeast, but it's made like, uh, 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 like sauce, sauce, those kind of things. Then to make the uh, pork fat, the color is red. But beside that, they, after they taking, they feel it is not that, uh, you know, not that uh, congestion. Okay, it's something inside. Okay, that's what the scientists they will be. Oh, you know, uh, we need to find out, see what will be that kind of uh, red yeast rice inside has something. Uh, interesting thing. Then later on they find out actually that's what the uh, statin system. So now we be what the manufacturer, I mean what the drug company, we make that selling everywhere is the everybody, you know, the patient who had high cholesterol, uh, they will be prescribed those kind of uh, statin. Okay, then you probably know uh, some uh, patient will be have very strong side fat with the statin, you know, the muscle. Uh, we be feel very weak. Some people we be feel you know uh, actually they can be melt it. <laughs> the muscle. <laughs> okay, so that we be uh, we talk about that is use it uh, you know the uh, food <coughs> to be uh, correct the body the imbalance.
Okay, now we we'll had uh, more a uh, little bit more time to talk about the tea again. So then the tea that we we'll be what uh, I think uh, so uh, now you know the uh, before they say the uh, like coffee is not good, but now they say coffee is good. Okay, <laughs> so why that? Actually, because the coffee some ingredient is soaked like tea. Okay, we we'll be had you know uh, one of the ingredients like caffeine. Okay, so then they we say uh, can be prevention the you know the uh, Alzheimer or something those kind of things. Okay, but <clears throat> in the T cell dietetic, we talk about that kind of T. Uh, the function is uh, very very long history already. Say we be have your shen shen actually in the another sentence we say is the mind. Okay, or the brain. Okay. So then we be what uh, people if they know how to be select the uh, you know good category of the tea, then we be what you know like if we every day we need to drink you know water tea or coffee, then you know then we be keep the uh, you know the uh, kind of the like uh, uh, medication, okay. So then uh, we mentioned. So if you know the body is uh, heat kai, so then we be what the green tea that will be the uh, best choice, okay? But didn't say you know the black tea is no good. So then uh, in the Western study because they are using different system, okay? Then they will be say green tea is good, okay? Why then? Because inside will be you know uh, have more nutrition things uh, because they didn't destroy, okay? Uh, but then uh, we study is different way. Okay, then even black tea is good too, okay, because you say some people they had uh, cold, so then the uh, black tea, then they even though put a little bit um, milk or even though sugar is still good, okay. But then the coffee uh, is good, but if you know you put too much, uh, you know, sugar and too much milk or something, then will be what? Uh, that will be, you know, changing, uh, not necessarily very healthy, okay? But if you just say general, like the uh, uh, Chinese, uh, you know, drink the tea, they didn't put anything inside. That should be more healthy, okay? So then I think uh, you can see in the PowerPoint, uh, you know, uh, they are, the tea is already studied very completely by the Western. Okay, is considered very good um, diet things. Okay, so now we talk about a little bit the uh, uh, milk. So, oh, okay. So uh, we probably have time. <laughs> so, anybody <laughs> have any question? You can be asking. Okay. So because we don't have time to be finish all the content. Okay. All right. By the way, I have <coughs> published two books. <coughs> okay. So while Dr. Pong recovers from uh, drinking a tea a little bit correctly, uh, incorrectly, um, Dr. Jeffrey Pong has actually written two different books uh, that are highly recommended <coughs> on Chinese medicine dietetics. Um, this one right here is Chinese Medicine Dietetic Recipe <coughs> Remedies. Um, you can see it up on your screen right now. Um, super good, incredibly cheap. Um, I am an acupuncturist, I'm a doctoral fellow right now, and to find this kind of information, as you can see, it's pretty thin, but it means that everything has been super condensed, um, and it's very difficult to find really good quality information um, out there, as there's so much dietetics type of information, but these are amazing. Um, and he has his second book, too, that he recently put out, um, Volume 1 of uh, Chinese Medicine Dietetics. Um, and so we're looking for, there's a third one coming out, too, really um, soon, right? Uh, yeah, we'll be taking time, yeah. To okay, that, yeah. yeah, so. We'll be planning to do that, okay? <laughs> yeah, definitely plenty more to come out. Um, and if you are um, a practitioner already, if you are an acupuncturist, I'm, I definitely recommend um, checking out some of the CEUs that Dr. Pong has as well um, um, in Chinese medicine dietetics. Those are really great, so you can get a little bit more information. 
So um, as you can see, we weren't able to get through all of the material. <laughs> it would take a lifetime to actually study all the material of Chinese dietetics and the subtle nuances <coughs> of it. Um, so now we kind of just want to open up the floor, the virtual floor, to any questions that any students might have. <coughs> Feel free to, again, just write any kind of questions on the right side um, of your screen, and then you can ask those questions there. Yeah, so I can, give me one second here while I open this up. Can I click on the poll? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, so go ahead and just feel free to ask any questions. I mean, you have a living legend sitting right next to me. <laughs> Um, with any kind of questions that you might have in relation to any kind of uh, con therapy conditions. Again, we were able to only go over just a couple uh, brief topics, and so if there are any acupuncturists out there, um, um, yeah. Um, we also will have a, a poll as well that will be coming up in just a little bit um, that will explain some more. Oh, the poll is happening right now? Yeah, oh, sorry. Well, the poll is actually happening right now. <laughs> so let's see here. So the first question here you guys have already kind of figured out is what additional healthcare topic would you like us to address? And it looks like, wow, it's actually tied. Oh, well, actually, we have a pretty good thing. Tied 43% for mental health and women's health. Um, and GI disorders are another really interesting topic. Um, I actually chose those myself today, so you're welcome. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and go on to the next poll question. Um, so this is actually talking about um, our open house that's coming on. If anybody um, is interested in going to that, um, go ahead and either say yes or no. Okay, looks like all of you have voted. Wait, that says zero percent yes and one percent hundred percent no. Go ahead. Next. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to the next question <coughs> here. The next question is: um, uh, Are you if you are if you're not an acupuncturist and if you're just kind of getting a little bit more information, are you interested in enrolling in our? Um, graduate degree program studying acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine um, and actually getting the opportunity to study with Dr. Pong in person live. Uh, it's pretty great. So 10 more seconds. All right, thank you. And the final poll question. Okay, so the final poll question is, um, are you interested, would you like to have an admissions advisor um, contact you uh, later today, or not sorry, later today, um, later this week or very soon to find out a little bit more information? Okay, just a couple more seconds, everyone else can finish that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to open this up just a little bit. Um, and Dr. Pong is sitting here next to me, so we'll scoop this over. Um, so feel free to take advantage of this opportunity to ask the master um, on any kind of dietetics related uh, questions that you might have. So it's like we have, um, do we have a question? Right there, okay. So our first question that we have is, what is a good tonic or an herb to kind of help with hot flashes? Oh, okay. Uh, so there will be one is like uh, uh, we mentioned before, the Shan Yao, that meaning what the uh, wild mountain yam. Okay, because the inside has somewhat uh, like uh, uh, associate somewhat like a female home, but, but actually it's not exactly the same. No? People don't need to worry about say, oh, you know, uh, maybe we be uh, stimulation the uh, cancer or something. It, it's not the, not exactly the same like a drug. Okay, so then uh, that's one of the recipe. You can eat more like uh, wild mountain yam. Another thing I think I mentioned before <coughs> is you said the uh, uh, whole wheat. Even though including the shell, then you'll be, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, roast a little bit or not necessarily roast it, okay, depend on your body, the constitution, okay, then you be what, then you make like the uh, tea, then you drink it, okay. <clears throat> Another thing is because, uh, generally speaking, the heart pressure will be, we say, is like a yin and yang, is, is uh, yin balance, mainly is the yin is not enough. So then they will be what? The heat will be come up. So then we be make the hot flush. So uh, general speaking, so like green tea is good too. And uh, uh, also, uh, because <coughs> people get the menopausal, they will be had uh, something like uh, chi will be uh, blocking in the body, circulation is not so good. So then we will be trying to use uh, some kind of flower uh, to open up. So uh, the flower is can be is the food, for example, like uh, what uh, something uh, like a, a rose flower, okay, or jasmine, okay. So like jasmine tea, or um, um, we can be you know put it in the uh, come by with the tea like a rose. We can we can come by with the black tea. So the jasmine, then we can use it combined with the green tea. Okay, uh, so um, <clears throat> some you be that's the common food. Okay, but uh, we mentioned the main things you need to find out your body, uh, what kind of imbalance that. Okay, uh, even though it's high pressure, but sometimes um, they just not necessarily always heat. Some people can be, you know, like uh, uh, yin and yang is both deficient too. So the better way we need to be find out like uh, uh, the pulse or tongue or combination, then we can be have more uh, to tap. But just say generally, those kind of food is, is generally good. Okay, so we have another question. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, what types of fruits and meat will uh, not worsen heat symptoms. So in other words, what types of foods and fruits will cool the body down, oh, help okay. cool the body down, especially, okay. especially <clears throat> heat okay. that's on the facial yeah, skin? Yeah, all the meat, it, you know, uh, red meat, considering is heat in the body. So then we be what? Uh, only when, you know, people, that's what uh, we say need to be uh, associated with the season. Like winter time, then people general can be take a little bit like uh, red meat. Okay, but then you know, uh, depend on the body too. So if they already had uh, heat, so then we be what the red meat will be have to be uh, avoid. So we need to be eat more like fish or something. You know, fish general because they in the is in the water is especially when they in the cold water. Mm -hmm. Those kind of fish will be considering is kind of the nature is cooling. Okay. So then we be uh, good for that kind of you know the people. What about like facial heat? People that have like itchy or or uh, kind of inflamed, like an acne or something. Yeah, I think maybe like <coughs> the acne is kind of what they're going towards. Yeah, that usually is the heat on the body. So then we we need to be eat more, like we mentioned before. Even though bitter melon or more green, those kind of mm -hmm. salad or those kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the carrot juice is considering kind of cool like too. Do we have any other questions? Okay, well while you're drumming up a couple questions, I just want to talk a little bit about our upcoming uh, webinars that we have coming up soon. Uh, I just want to remind you also, we're kind of going to shift a little bit more uh, and shift directions for our upcoming uh, webinars. Uh, what we've been doing the last like nine webinars is uh, having more of like a lecture format with a little Q and A at the end. But we kind of want to change it up a little bit to where it'll be more of like a mm -hmm. seminar format, so that way the professor can talk a little bit and then give some time in the middle to kind of have more didactic information kind of going on. So that way the students can ask questions, pose inquiries, and then kind of get that feedback. So it's kind of like a uh, seminar style, a like classroom in the middle. Uh, so we think that would be a little bit more interaction and a little bit more dynamic of a, an experience. So let us know if you like that. Um, and so some of the upcoming webinars that we have are uh, on, uh, today's June, uh, July 18th, there'll be uh, a topic on treating insomnia with TCM. 
Uh, and, and insomnia, as you know, is like different things, like it'd be difficult falling asleep or actually waking multiple times. So we'll be all sort of talking about all sort of uh, topics on insomnia. Um, that'll be done by one of our professors, uh, Dr. Jacqueline Bird. In August, uh, on August 15th, we'll be discussing uh, treating allergies with traditional Chinese medicine. So that'll be good too. Um, and so it looks like we have another question that came in. Um, let me just kind of scroll up here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so normally this is what people want to know. Oh yeah, okay, no, this is very good. Yeah, so what about some super yummy damp clearing foods? What are your favorite foods to clear damp? Oh, Dampness. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, one of the kind of uh, food, uh, even though selling in the mainstream uh, store too, it comes I mean, what? Uh, e ran, you know, oh, the. E -ren, dope yeah, tier. I think called Job Tea or Job something tears, like that. Yeah. That would be very good food. So that would be help the body, you know, to take out mm -hmm. the dampness. So then um, uh, I think even though they selling in the health store, mm -hmm. so everywhere. But uh, when we eat that food, you don't expect it uh, very fast. Uh, like uh, can be make uh, things happen. They just like uh, you know gradually, okay. okay? Because they will be the dampness will be uh, promote. I mean, what to make the urination more? Then they come out from the body little by little. Okay. But that definitely is very good food. Okay. Yeah, I think not only the two uh, uh, same thing to Western study. Mm. They, that's why they sell it in the health store. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very good for the damage, like uh, uh, even to the skin condition too. Mm. Okay, like uh, eczema or like uh, you know uh, acne or uh, even the arthritis. So uh, it's very good for. It. So I would be recommendation that for the damage. Just like corn syrup too. Is that what you're gonna kind of mention? Uh yeah, but uh, uh yeah, you can go to get. But the corn syrup you probably because you cannot eat them because uh, it's uh, fiber thing. You might mm. use the corn syrup to be make the tea make first. The tea. Then you cook with this. Uh, you know, oh, that'd be really good. <coughs> really good. Because that thing so like rice, <coughs> you can eat them. Okay. So uh, that is good. Okay. Okay. Um, so another question: For cooling, is it better to cook the vegetables, or does it not matter if you're trying to invoke? Uh, if very food? strong, you want to cooling. Sometimes the fresh juice will be warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can make like uh, vegetable juice. Put in the machine to be uh, make them like uh, raw juice. But you know, if some people they had uh, stomach, because you know, every food we need uh, when we take into the stomach, the stomach is like a cooker. You mm -hmm. have to be cooked a little bit, okay? So then, if they are, you know, the stomach function is not that strong. Mm -hmm. So even though you know it's heat, but then you take too much mm -hmm. those raw uh, vegetable, mm -hmm. it's still probably powder. So we need to be see how, you know, little by little mm -hmm. or something. Maybe like warm, like yeah. room temperature, yeah, room yeah. temperature raw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have another question here. Mm -hmm. For So for a patient that's undergoing chemotherapy mm -hmm. um, and having a difficult time eating, yeah. would you recommend something for that kind of a patient? What kind mm -hmm. I guess... Maybe, what yeah. Kind of so uh, for that thing, usually uh, like uh, uh, radiant sugar therapy, uh, that usually in the T cell system will be will be generation the body very heat mm -hmm. because you know the radiation is look like sun you know uh, sunlight or thing. Then chemotherapy usually is like the toxicity thing. Okay. So then they will be what to be damage the stomach, chi. Mm -hmm. So that will be mm -hmm. make people you know cannot eat, throw up things like that. So then we need to be like uh, mentioned. To use uh, something like uh, uh, wild mountain yam, or we use uh, the dang shen, some kind of mm -hmm. ginseng, but it's not Korean ginseng. Okay, yeah. so then we be what uh, you know they sell in the market, even though make like uh, uh, crystallized like a tea. Okay. So then we can easier to take. Okay, and also you know the <coughs> even though like uh, something simple things in your garden grow like uh, mint leaf mm. with uh, you know something like uh, lemon juice a little bit mm -hmm. and green tea mm -hmm. and also another important thing can be used ginger because oh, really? people okay. you know yeah the throw up very easy the right. chemo. 
then you can use a little bit ginger, then put a little bit orange peel or something okay. to be made like a tea. Yeah. To drink, that will be subside the uh, side effect from the kidney. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have any kind of question? <laughs> it's almost <laughs> six o'clock. Yeah. Um. So the one last question yeah, that we have, okay. uh, so this person wants to know about uh, soy, soy products and kidney function, weak kidney function. So a lot of like protein powders yeah, and things have yeah, soy in there. Yeah, yeah. Do you recommend that to people with kidney function diseases or kidney problems? Uh, it is if you know the kidney function, a problem, too much protein is not so good for them. Mm -hmm. So but in our system, same thing. You know, we need to be find out, you know, the uh, pulse and tongue, then to see how the kidney yin or mm -hmm. yang, you know, uh, what which part is more, uh, you know, uh, disharmony. Mm -hmm. uh, then we need to be select some kind of food to be. So it, um, same thing, like we say, all black uh, beans is good for kidney, but it depends on too. Right. So, uh, you know, everything we want to be is balanced, right. you know, like actually, uh, one of the major things we talked about uh, on the very beginning, we say the Huang Di Nei Jing, we say we have five different kinds of veggie, five different kinds of fruit, or five different kinds of grain things. That just meaning we, we eat things, even though some is good, we not we can be eat them all the time. Right. Then we be make the body in balance. Even though they start to say, oh, it's very good, you know, that um, thing, soybean is good, okay. But if you eat soybean all the time, you still have problem, okay. <laughs> so everything needs to be, you know, uh, balanced. That's why before one of the guys that uh, call a Ken's diet, not mm. good, because they just say, oh, you want to lose weight, uh, one of the methods, right? you don't eat any uh, carbohydrate, so you just eat meat. <laughs> so. Uh, some people accept that, so then they, you know, eat all the meat, I think they get problem, okay, because, you know, it's in balance. So then later on, they will be got high cholesterol or, you know, very uh, something, problem or heart disease or any kind. So that meaning, just say, you know, everything we need to be, that's what the uh, the main idea for the TCM thing, we need to be, everything made like a balance. Mm -hmm. And the human body need to be matched like uh, nature. Okay, like season, everything will be, be, you know, go together. So then the body will be more balanced, including the mental too. Yeah. Okay, uh, exercise. So that's what they put, uh, like the foundation to talk about five different kind of things or what. Even just to say you can six different kind. Okay, but just the idea they want to be, you know, not uh, easy have to be uh, many different food to be, you know, balanced to eat everywhere. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Pong, for, for coming here and, and sharing your wisdom with us.